Hi, I'm Jane and this is my colleague Jo. Today we're going to be talking to you about the 10-week SQE course, how best to prepare and the tips that we have to help you that we've learned along the way. Now I'm going to start off by explaining a bit about the structure of the course for those of you who don't know uh, much about it. Well, the way it's designed is that we have put together an individual personal study plan for you all. And it's unlike anything you've ever seen before because it contains all the information that you're going to need. Whereas in your previous studies, you might have had something, a platform like Moodle, which will direct you to relevant resources. What we have here with our personal study plan actually tells you what you need to do in each particular day in a particular order. Now, everything you need is on there. It's designed this way because unlike any other course you've done, it is completely uh, different. It's different because you are going to be assessed completely by way of multiple choice questions. Uh, we recognize that in the past, you have probably studied module by module. So done a whole topic such as contract and then had an assessment on it. Here though, you're going to be assessed on a variety of topics all at the same time. So the personal study plan mirrors that. So for example, you won't just be studying one topic, you'll be studying a variety of topics in different formats. So you'll have overviews, books um, that you have online, but you can also access them. We will give you copies of the books and you'll also have some workshops. So what I would say, and I'm sure Joe will agree with me, is that you are enrolling on a 10 week programme. It is going to be very intense. We recommend, and in fact, the study plan will assign to you 35 hours minimum study a week. So it is fairly intense, but what we're going to talk to you about is the tips to help you progress and you know, reassure you that this is in fact doable, isn't it, Joe? Absolutely. Um, yes, it is a very intense course, but like Jane says, absolutely doable. And I think the first and perhaps most important tip that we can give you is to get started as soon as possible. You only have 10 weeks. So unlike the 40 week course or the 20 week course, when there's a little bit of wriggle room, if you happen to fall behind for, for some reason, unfortunately, you don't have that luxury with the 10 week course you have to keep up to date with that 35 hours a week. And if you don't, then it'll be very, very difficult to, to try and catch up later on. The yeah. next tip we would give you is to watch as many or attend as many of the workshops as possible throughout the course. So every couple of weeks, there will be a workshop and they are incredibly helpful in giving you additional tips and additional pointers in terms of progressing through the PSP. So for example, workshop one takes you through the PSP, explains why it's designed the way it is, and therefore why you should follow it in that format. And workshop two shows you a six stage process to be successful in answering the MCQs. So that's just a flavor of a couple of the workshops but there will be five in total. So every other week you will be invited to a workshop. You will be sent the link and you can attend live. Obviously the benefit of attending live is that you can ask questions during the workshop, but if for whatever reason you are unable to attend live, then you will be able to watch the recording of the workshop, which will be posted onto the PSP later on that, that week. Um, so a couple of tips there to get you going start as soon as possible. Do not think you've got any time to spare and uh, watch the, the workshops or attend them live. So Jane's gonna give you the next tip, which yeah. will be about the structure of the PSP. I mean, I really agree with what um, Joe said there. I can't stress hard um, enough how important it is to get cracking as soon as you can. Uh, what I would say from having mentored students on the 40 and 20 week course, and I'm sure Joe will agree with this, the what students want to do is follow their own path. 
But believe me, this is an entirely different course and the programme is structured to get the best out of the hours that you put in. You won't be sitting in exam just on contract. So you really must follow the structure that we laid out. We've both spent quite a lot of time trying to get students to follow the PSP because they've tried to devise their own study methods. You know, so is it OK, Jane, if I study the whole of dispute resolution and then move on to taught? Well, no, it isn't because the exam's not like that. The assessment isn't like that. So it's important to take a structured approach and follow the PSP. I'm sure you'd agree with that, Joe. Yeah, that absolutely. Yeah, well, certainly with some of my 20 week students, we've spent a lot of time trying to unpick the pattern of study. That they've um, they've developed and actually what we we say to them then is trust in the PSP there's a lot of science behind it there's a lot of work that's gone into it there's been pilot programs that have have uh, checked that it works and it does work and so although it's a very different way of working for you um, the PSP does what it says and it will take you through that study plan um, in your own personal time but follow the study plan. Don't, don't try and start with the textbooks, for example, which would be the traditional way of doing things, because that's not how the PSP is designed to work. And you might find that you fall behind if you, if you start with those traditional methods. And as I've said, you don't have the time to catch up really when you've got to do 35 hours a week study. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with that. Um, you know, as I said at the start, we are tutors, but we're also mentors. So although it is an intense period of 10 weeks, we are here to support you. And by way of well-being, we would say to start off with that because the PSP is so structured, it's important that you try and adopt a structure to your day and treat it like a working day. But you have got to sort of schedule breaks in for yourself. Um, again, we have students saying to us, well, I don't know why I'm not remembering anything because I'm sitting for eight hours a day in front of the computer but um, those eight hours have got to be productive for a start eight hours is too long nobody can sit there for eight hours and absorb information so you do have to make sure that your day is really well structured um, follow the PSP but give yourself time to relax and take breaks now Joe and I have often had discussions about well why is it that you know, students are sitting there for eight hours and it isn't going in. Well, in relation to that, it's very important that you develop the habit of single tasking. We will be covering this in workshops, but really when you're focused on something completely focused you then take the information in and you're not sitting there looking at the page thinking have I read this before so you know link to the structure to get the most out of what you're doing you really do need to single task and be focused on the plan in front of you now related to that in a way is this is your journey. We're here to support you, but it's very important that you concentrate on what you're doing. Don't get bogged down by listening to your peers and their journeys. Obviously, there may be points that you want to discuss with them, but really it's about how you're getting on and how you are progressing. That's right, isn't it, Joe? Absolutely. Um, it is important that you just follow your own plan. And if somebody is ahead in the PSP, don't think that that impacts you in any way. It might just be that they have done it a slightly different way or they've got more time in a particular day. It's not anything to be concerned about. Just follow your, your own route. I think the other thing that we can um, talk about is you need to get rid of as many distractions as possible. And we've talked about, you know, focusing and on single tasks and not multitasking. One of the easy distractions that you can get rid of fairly quickly is to book your place with Kaplan as soon as possible. The booking for the November exam is already open and we have links to how you can do that on the information page on the PSP. So get that out of the way, get that sorted, and then you don't have to think about it later on in the course. And um, if you have any learning requests or additional requests that you need Kaplan to be aware of, 
get those sorted as soon as possible too. And then when it comes to revision, you don't have to think, crikey, before I do my revision, I need to make sure that I've got my exam place booked. Because what you might find is that the venue that you want to take the exam at isn't uh, available anymore. So the sooner you can get that out of the way, then that's one distraction gone. The final point that we just want to, to make is that you do have one-to-one <clears throat> -one mentor support. Jane and I are both mentors on this course, so it may be that we are one of your mentors. And we are here to support you throughout that 10-week journey. So whenever you need to get in touch with us, whether that's by email or by telephone or by Teams meeting, then you are more than welcome to do that. As mentors, we will get in touch with you every couple of weeks just to make sure that you're doing okay and to ask if you want any help. But if it's the case that you just think, actually, I don't even want the email distraction, I just want to focus on the PSP, then that's absolutely fine. But the point really is just that we will be here to support you um, whenever you need that help. So hopefully that gives you a few little tips and pointers to get going. As Jane said at the beginning, this is an intense course, but that said, it is entirely doable. So really it's down to your mentality and whether you have the right mindset to kind of single focus on the next 10 weeks. And if that's the case, then you will be successful in being ready for the exam in November. Yeah, I agree with Jo. It is entirely doable and we are here to support you. Thanks very much for listening. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.